Welcome to CNB, your weekly dose of all that's fun and exciting from the world of automobiles. I'm Siddharth Vinayak Patankar and let's get right to it. The next 30 minutes, well as usual, they're packed with lots of exciting information. And let's take a look at what's on today's program. The Swift and the Swift Desire get the K12M engine. With the new engine, is the Swift now looking hotter than the competition? And speaking of hot, it's the all-new 370Z from Nissan coming to India. So that's the K-Series engine making its way into the Desire sedan. Now, we always knew this was going to happen because, uh, well, there's been lots of talk about how the Swift and the Swift Desire will move into the K-Series family for the Bharat Stage 4 reasons. So besides the engine, has anything else changed? Well, take a look at the car and externally, of course, it looks exactly like the way the Desire has always looked. Even the colors are the same, the overall side profile, the fact that, uh, you know, this car has been very popular, you've seen lots of them on the road. So everything is pretty much the same, including the chrome embellishment at the back, the badging, the tail lamp treatment. So externally, there are no differences. Of course, uh, there are some things about the car that do change, including the prices, because Maruti has increased prices across its entire model range. Let's just get to know the Swift Desire a little bit better. The Swift Desire has been a bestseller, with the car's waiting period going through six months in some cities and still, in fact, seeing a great demand. So why tweak something that's already rocking, right? Well, the Bharat Stage 4 norms have changed that, and so the old steam vintage 1.3-litre petrol engine has to go. And that's in the Swift 2, of course. So the Swift Desire now sports the familiar K12M four-cylinder engine. But nothing else on the car has changed. The same variants, same looks and styling embellishments. So it's not a makeover at all then. And that may be a bit disappointing for the many who were waiting for a new Desire. It's similar, in fact, in the case of the hatchback, too. So, no facelift coming in on the Swift Desire, and it's pretty much the same on the hatch also. Let's take a look at the new 1.2 petrol Swift. It's the car that has really captured the imagination of so many Indians. It was our car of the year in 2006 and completes five years in India this May. The Suzuki Swift has been one of the cars that's done very well for Suzuki globally. And here in India, of course, it's been the one thing that really captured the imagination of the upwardly mobile Indian. And why not? After all, the car was a global model. It looked the part of being really different to the old Maruti models. It's good looking. It's very sporty. And, uh, well, don't think too much of this color that you're seeing right now because it's one of the test colors from Maruti. It goes to show you just uh, how exclusive this is. We managed to swipe one of these cars from Maruti. So, uh, not one of the standard production colors, though you've seen this blue in the new SX4. But let me not go on about that. So, externally, the car maintains its overall proportions, the same styling features, the same badging. Everything at the back here is pretty much the same as it is in the front. And so, what's really changed, of course, is under the hood. Now, the 1.2-litre engine, there was a prerequisite in some senses for Maruti to do that because it attracts a cheaper excise duty now for the company. And more importantly, it needed to meet Bharat Stage 4 norms with the petrol version. So that's what this car is all about. The secret is under the hood. Let me show you the engine now. The new 1.2-litre engine is really the one you already know. The K-Series comes from the Ritz. The specs read pretty much the same, so it's 83 bhp and a 5-speed manual transmission. Familiar territory.